I too couldn't figure out. That's why y'all should. That's why y'all should. I'm not pissed off that they're together and they have a family and they're happy now. That is not me. And then y'all should just. You moving. You're moving too much like a groupie, Leslie. I'm not going to lie. That's how you're coming off. That was real groupie-ish. You're basically trying to show that you was in my crib. But you basically just showed that you gave me cheeks. Why would you expose yourself of just giving out cheeks? Because I already made a video saying I'm single. And there's a huge gap in your videos in the dates. And between in those dates, I was doing my thing. And so was you. So was you. So was you. This is going to be a super quick video. I want to put to bed and put to rest once and for all the narrative that Clarence NYC is obsessed with Chris, uh, Christopher Sales, that he is still in love with his ex and that he cares about anything that the two of them are doing. So a lot of people that hate Queen Naja and that hate Clarence would lead you to believe that Clarence is still obsessed with Leslie and it's not the other way around, which I believe that low key she's really still obsessed with Clarence I do believe that Clarence is the one that got away from her and I believe deep down inside he is the one that she still loves and that's why she is so angry and so hateful towards Queen if you notice Leslie has never come out and said anything truly negative about Clarence her daggers her aim has always been towards Queen Nyjah but let's get back to the topic of this video again the assumption or the narrative that Chris Sales fans and the people that hate Queen Nigel and Clarence would have you to believe is that he's obsessed with his ex. Let me tell you something right now, ladies. No man that is still in love with you, that still has genuine love for you, or that is obsessed with you will tell you to go and be with another man that he knows is abusive. Clarence gave Leslie back to the streets publicly about a year or so ago okay <laughs> he told her to go and be with chris sales that was pretty much selling everybody that hey she for the streets he also made mention that while they were not together and while they were on a break that he was doing his thing and she was doing her thing so this isn't anything new with leslie it sounds like leslie is kind of groupy material and this is my opinion you know she's kind of real groupie-ish and clarence knew that he knew that and so he pretty much told her and chris he was like hey y'all should link up together and i'm gonna be honest with you and you guys should be honest with yourselves no man that has any feelings for a woman is going to tell them or point them in the direction of chris sales <laughs> chris sales is not the person that mothers want their daughters with that fathers want their daughters with he is just not that type of person i don't care how much you like him i don't care how big of a fan you are of chris sales i mean we're just gonna call a spade a spade he is not model boyfriend material listen he is lacking in a lot of areas that make him a man <laughs> in general okay but definitely not model boyfriend material i mean he has these abuse um, allegations hovering over his head he has the cheating rumors the cheating allegations hovering over his head the way that he talks to women is just it's disgusting so let's just be honest there no person who cares anything about you is going to say hey go and be with that person i don't care if they're just a friend um your friend if they're a true friend is not going to say hey you should hook up with, with him chris sales is the person to be with yeah no it's not happening okay so clarence nyc does not have feelings for leslie he has proven that numerous of times okay let's go ahead and put that to rest that's my opinion on the situation you guys let me know what you think down in the comment section and i'll talk to you guys on the next video